everyone, my name is LaserJet and welcome to Train Sim World 3. Ooh. Now, normally on this channel, I do DLC reviews or add on packs to review for either Train Simulator Classics or Train Sim World 2. It's very rare that I actually try out a whole new game. So, this is going to be really fun. So, Dovetail Games just released this, and uh, I want to see if this is just like Train Sim World 2 or does it feel like a totally different game. I don't know but that's what we're going to find out. Now the first obvious thing I can see is that the main menu uh, is t completely different to Train Sim World 2. Like, it kind of feels like I'm playing like FIFA or or Star Wars Battlefront or something. Like, 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 like the main menu is a lot smarter. And I'm not sure that you can hear the background music but I'll just keep quiet for a second so you can actually try and hear. It's got a nice like calm background to it and it, and because i'm autistic i actually find that very relaxing so what we're going to do in today's video is basically a test i just want to get a train drive in just get to know if the controls are all the same and i'm going to be using my rail driver control panel for this as well so that's a that's good oh i'm so excited but i'm a bit nervous because like you know i really want this to be a good game but like a lot of people have a different opinions compared to mine i mean like do not take my like Ev like everything I'm about to say, okay, this is just my opinion, okay, my opinion is completely irrelevant, this is just how I feel, um, but everyone's entitled to their own opinion, if you guys think that this is going to be a great success, or is this game going to be uh, just a waste of money, I don't know, Let's. I'm, I just want to get into it and, and see what this game is like, but before we do that, make sure you click that subscribe button, turn the bell notification on as well, so stay notified to the channel, and also check out my second channel, link to that is in the description below, it's a good channel, I think you guys might enjoy my second channel, so subscribe to the second channel, it means a lot to me, thank you. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to kick on uh, to the trains. Uh, we're going to pick a train, uh, timetable, and we've got all these like pictures of the trains. So that's really cool how you can actually like see um, what train it is you're actually driving. So I want to try this, the BR401, and it says it's l last played. That's really cool because I actually had a go at testing this, and because um, like you know I need to have a first go just to see what it's like because because I don't know what the controls are. You don't want to spend because I could spend an hour just trying to figure out how the controls work. So I did have a little go on this. I'm not gonna lie. BR401DB, which I believe is the ICE1. That's what I'd like. Uh, click on this one. And hmm, which day should we have? Should we have like midday or something? Something about there. And I want to have it snowy because um, I did have it in in summertime when I tested it out. But I really want to see what it looks like when it's in the snow. So we're gonna go custom weather. We're gonna go into January the fourteenth because that's actually my birthday. And let's see if we try and get some snow going. Summer, summer rain, autumn. Winter fog, winter blizzard, winter snow. There we go. We'll have snow level maximum, cloud level. No, we won't have much cloud, and we'll have that off because we don't. We don't want actually. We don't want to see any snow falling down. We just want to, just, just, just want to have a nice blanket of snow on a nice um, sunny day. I think that's a good idea. Uh, so I guess we click get started. I suppose, um, and that's it. We're just stuck on the loading screen. That's actually a really nice loading screen. Okay, so here we are in the cab of the ICE-1. Uh, now, I'm just seeing if the controls are all the same. Yes, they are. That's good. Uh, so, first thing is, oh, wow, look at this. Doesn't it look so nice, doesn't it? Especially in the snow. And look at the look at the sun as well. Where's the sun? There, where's, where, where's the sun? There's, there's the sun. <laughs> now, the first thing that's obviously changed is the lighting effect. The lighting is a lot more better. and uh, There's a lot more colours and, and more, it's, very, it's very bright. And that's, 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 it, do, it does look a lot nicer. But there is something that I'm not really too happy about. And it's the speedometer dash thingy it just looks exactly the same as train sim world 2 it would have been nice if dovetail games like completely redesigned it and given it a different look to make it feel like it's a totally different game but like the thing is like having the same sort of style of speedometer dashboard thingy on the screen having it the same as train sim world 2 uh, it, it, you know it would be nice to have like I want this to feel like a totally new game rather than just Train Sim World 2. But, but apart from like you know those little faults, I mean, I mean, I, I, again, I'm, I'm just being completely honest. I mean, it would have been nice if if, if they would have like restarted the the speedo or something. But like you know, that's just my opinion. But let's head back and we need to open the doors. 
Well, no, actually, we need to put the master key in first. And we'll need to put the train in forward. There we go. And doors are opening. Let's have a look. Ooh, there's a voice. Okay, that's weird. Okay, let's get our train set up. So, what do the controls do? First things first, we want the lights on. Uh, marker and... Yep, I want those on. Uh, cab light. We can have cab light or desk light. We'll have cab light on. Or should we just... Oh, no, let's have desk light on. Don't really need the cab light on, do we? Uh, let's press E to stand up, because I want to have a look around. And if we open this door, we can actually go into the engine room of the train. Ooh, 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 ooh. And I think there's a button here that turns on the lights. Engine room, lights, and let's... Hold on. Where's the lights on for this? Um, is it that one? No, or that one? Oh, there we go. So, so, so these two lights turn them on, and these two lights, I'm presuming they turn them off. Oh no. They, okay, so the bottom ones actually turn the lights on and off, but the top ones don't actually do anything. Okay, cool. Um, let's close that door. Let's walk through. And there's something. Uh, there's something that has changed as well. Like when you normally walk around, like you have to hold down shift to run faster, but for this, you have to hold down shift to walk slower. That's that's interesting. That's that's what they've they've they've, they've completely changed us, which is interesting. So at least you don't have to hold down shift every time you want to run. Um, wow, God, look at the detail in this. That's actually fantastic. The sun effect, the shadow effect, the reflection effect looks really nice. That looks so cool. So the door passengers are loaded. So let's head back into our train. Walk forward to the engine room. Close the door. Have a sit down. I think we're ready to go right now. Close the door. Now, because this is a German train, I have no idea how German trains work. So, first things first. Think, Oliver. Um, right. Passengers loaded. Good. We can get moving now. Uh, but how do I do that? So, train's in forward. Um, okay, we need to set the train brake off. Right, brakes off. And there's something else I need to do. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, the brake key. I have to have that unlocked, or we won't move. Uh, and then we want... Well, the pentagraph is already up, and then we want the main circuit breaker close. And then, I believe, we give ourselves some throttle. I don't want to give it too much, but I really want to give us a bit of power. And then, once we get moving, I can really give it the beans. Um, we're on throttle 5. Let's see if we move from throttle 5. Um, or maybe a bit more throttle, perhaps? We'll have on 10, why not? Um, oh, there we go, now we're moving now. I think we just need a little bit more throttle. When we got wheel slip, that's not good. Just ease off on the throttle just a little bit, just a smidge. And then speed up just again, because, you know, it is very snowy and very icy. But we're moving now, let's have a look outside. Very nice, let's give a toot of the horn. That's awesome. Go back inside and do the horn again. Oh, the horn's different from the inside from the outside. That's really clever. That's so cool. Okay, so we're sp wheel slipping just a little bit. So I'm just going to ease off on the throttle just a little bit. Put it on throttle five, perhaps. Stop that from wheel slipping. Or maybe I should put the sander on. I think. I think that might work. Okay, and look at the clouds. I don't I don't know if you guys noticed, but the clouds look absolutely incredible. Because I have watched um, Dovetail Games do a live stream of like all the amazing stuff they've added in. And the 3D clouds look absolutely gorgeous. It almost looks like Microsoft Flight Simulator, doesn't it? Because those clouds are just so well detailed. They look just look so cool. <gasps> and look at the mountains in the background. Oh my god, the scenery has gotten so much better. Look at those mountains. That's so cool. Okay, so the speedometer is in kilometers per hour, but I don't actually know that because I'm into miles per hour because, you know, I'm not European. Because, you know, I'm a southern boy. I'm from Southampton, for God's sake. I don't, I don't know. I only know miles per hour, although I don't even know many things because I'm southern. Okay, I'm going to go maximum throttle and really give it the beans and see how fast we can actually make this thing go. Okay, and there's another feature that Dovetail Games have done. When you enter the tunnel, everything goes dark, but then your eyes, well, your, the focus of the camera start to adjust, and there's another train there, hello. And you can actually see quite well in the tunnel. You can see the tunnel ceiling, the, the tunnel walls. It just, it just looks a lot better, and when we exit the tunnel, like, all you'll see is just a big white blur, and then it will slowly fade into what you can see. You, you, you just just watch. You, you guys know what I mean. So we exit the tunnel. We can't see nothing, and then our eyes slightly like they adjust, and then you can see stuff again. That, that's a like, that's a really cool feature. When, when we get up to high speed, you'll see it a lot more clearly. It's absolutely incredible. It is quite dark in here. Shall I try and put the um, 
cab light on rather than the death light because it, it is very dark in it, isn't it? Okay, coming up to the end of the tunnel. Now, look carefully when you see the lighting effect because you can't see anything. All you see is a bright white light and then it readjusts and it focuses in. How cool is that? And another feature is when you're at a high speed, you can actually see the snow blast effect from the train as it's going at super high speed. You can actually see like the snow dust and everything. That's, that's so cool. Oh, look at that. That's just gorgeous. I mean, it, it does make my game lag and it just it does drop FPS quite a lot. Maybe, like, maybe Dovetail Games might fix that, or maybe they won't. I, I don't know. Like, you know, it's, it's still early days, isn't it? So now they're in 200 kilometers per hour, which I think we can go faster, although we are going uphill at the moment. But, like, you know, I'm, I want to get some speed going, guys. So let's have a look at that lighting effect again. So we're in the tunnel. We can't see anything because it's just a bright white light. And then out the tunnel we go. And then the focus readjusts itself. Oh, that, that is just so cool. And now, if you actually look, we can't really see much of the uh, the cab light anymore because we're in daylight. But once we get into the tunnel, you'll see the uh, camera focus readjust. And then we'll be able to see the uh, the cab light. That, 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 that'll be so cool. I can't wait to show you guys that. So let me be completely honest. The scenery is a lot better. The weather is a lot better. The sky is a lot better. The light lighting is a lot better but it still feels like train sim world 2 if you want my honest opinion even though it's called train sim world 3 it doesn't feel like a whole new game it just feels like train sim world 2 but more upgraded i mean was it really necessary to make a whole new game for these like incredible features was it worth it i'll leave you guys to decide that because again my opinion is completely irrelevant but I do like trying out new games. It is very rare that I actually do try out new games. Um, so, you know, you know, at least I'm happy. But I'm not sure if you guys will agree what I'm saying. But, like, there you go. Um, out the tunnel we go. Oh, look at that. It's so, so cool, isn't it? The lighting is just incredible. Like, it, 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 it the, uh, I'm, I'm, speechless. I'm lost for words of how beautiful Germany looks in the snow. It just... It just looks amazing. Can I actually, can I switch seats? Can I sit down this on, on this side? Yes, I can actually switch seats. So now I've got like a much better view so I can see more. Oh, that's so cool, isn't it? I, I'm loving this. Can we open the window? Yeah, you can open the window. That's so cool. Uh, I wonder what other features I can, I might be able to do. Um, I want to get a cool outside shot though. So if I sit back down, I want to get like a, like an outside shot of, of the train at high speed. Cause I mean, look at that. Oh, isn't that just beautiful? <laughs> oh, wow, that looks so cool. And the really cool feature as well is when the sun goes behind the clouds, it all gets very dark. Oh, speaking of dark, we've just entered a tunnel. <laughs> and out the tunnel we go. Oh, the, I said this, the scenery is, is, has, got, has gotten a lot better. I'm glad they've actually put more effort in the scenery now. So that's just so cool. In the tunnel we go again. And then notice that the uh, the cab light actually gets brighter when we're in the tunnel because our again our eye focus readjusts. That's just, that's so cool. It's little features like that that really impressed me, like little details like that. So I'll show you guys again. So keep an eye on uh, on this desk here because it's it's quite bright. But then we go enter the tunnel again, and then it gets slightly yellow again, doesn't it? It's like that it, that's so cool. Oh, we're going to do some achievement. I'm getting uh, getting all the points. Speed right now is 256 kilometers per hour. And I see another tunnel up ahead after we exit this one. So here we go. Sunlight, we're out of the tunnel. Oh, and the scenery is beautiful, it's gorgeous, and it's gone again. I'm actually wondering, like, you know, how long have we been traveling for? Like, we've only gone from there to there. I mean, we've been, we've, I've been in like millions of tunnels. How many tunnels are actually on this map? Aha, and out the tunnel we go. Oh, it's beautiful. God, and the lighting. I keep going on about the lighting, but like the sunlight like reflecting off the train just looks so beautiful, doesn't it? And I love the snow blast effect. When 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 we're in the snow, like you've got this like massive cloud of like snow dust. That just that's so cool. Oh, it's, it's a little bit a little bit bugged with that, but you know, it's still early days yet, so I, I can make an exception. And once again, we're in a tunnel. Um, is it just going to be like this for, for, like, all the way across Germany? Just, like, tunnel here, tunnel there? Because I think we spend more time in a tunnel than outside. Why do Germans have to tunnel up every single mountain they go through? Oh, here we go. Out the tunnel we go. Hey, we're free! Fresh air and freedom. Oh, look, look at the bridges. Look at how beautiful these bridges look. 
Oh my god, that's actually quite a high bridge, actually. Wow, that, that is actually really, really pretty. <laughs> Look at the bridge! Uh, ooh, I like, the, I like the shape of this bit. That's really good. Is that like the middle part of the bridge? Maybe. And there goes our train. Oh, and into the tunnel we go once again. Meow. Ooh, spooky and dark. Very... Actually, I want to go to the engine room. Let's have a look at the engine room while we're in the dark. Um, let's turn the lights on. Oh, that's so cool how you can turn the lights on. Oh, that's so pretty. It's very loud in the engine room, but I guess it's because it has to be. Because, it, you know, it's an engine room. It's where... Oh, there's a door here. I didn't know there was a door there. Um, I don't think I want to be going that way. Um... Let's sit back down and, 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 and just get back into the driver's seat. Um, oh, look, we're coming out at the end of the tunnel. That was a really long tunnel. Do I toot the horn? There we go. Got all green lights ahead of us. Green signals, all good. Full speed ahead, although we are speeding. But we are still going uphill slightly, which is, which, you know, it's, it's, it's not so bad. But we are doing some, like, tremendous speed now, aren't we? Like, well, how fast are we going? 259, 258. Kilometers per hour, slowing down, but that's okay. It's nice to do like a a full high speed route. And I just love the snow effect, like when it comes off the tracks when we're going at full speed. I mean, look at the look at the snow blast. Oh, it's just so pretty. Uh, oh, and we're in another tunnel. And there's a cool feature. I'm not sure if I will be able to see this, but. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. Don't, don't know if you guys saw that, but there's a the, the, the pentagon leaves off massive sparks when we're. Um, oh yeah, see there we go. If we go go on this side, I can't really see much. God, I can't see nothing in this tunnel, and I mean nothing. There we go. And I'm and around the tunnel again, but it doesn't matter because we're coming into another one. In we go again. See, so we'll try and get let, let off another spark. Come on, pentagon. There we go. There's another spark. So we'll drive one more time. I'm I'm really into these sparks right now. If I can actually see. I can't see nothing. One more spark. Come on. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. Isn't, that, isn't that amazing? And look at the... Like, you can actually see the lighting effect, like, on the side of the tunnel. That just looks so cool. I have to be honest, though. I am getting a bit too overexcited for over, like, the small little things. Like, a lot of people can say, why can't they just put all of this amazing updated stuff in Transcend World 2? I am thinking that. Like, I, I, I'm asking the same question, but... Again, it is nice to try out a brand new game and like, you know, like I'm actually really excited of what future Train Sim World 3 holds. Like, does this game have good potential? Pot potential, sorry. Does this game have good potential? Um, is Dovetail Games going to uh, make some updates on this? Are they going to make some more DLCs for uh, Train Sim World 3? I don't know, but I really hope that this game does do well i hope this game succeeds in the gaming industries and stuff because because yeah I'm, I'm i'm really liking this although i am very easily impressed but then again a lot of people have their own opinions um because because you know I'm, I'm i'm very easily impressed but but a lot, a lot of people might not have the same enthusiasticness that i have but that's okay a lot of people are different and like you know a lot of people are more, a lot a lot more um uh, they're, they're, they're better getting out reviews than, than I am. I mean, I, I'm just giving out my opinion. My opinion is completely irrelevant. But it just looks, it just looks so good. The, the lighting, the, like, it would be nice if they could have like, like, like more impressed sound effects, perhaps. But I'd, I, I'm impressed about the new weather. I'm impressed about the lighting effect when you exit the tunnel. Like, you know, the eye focus adjusts. Like, that is a feature I really think is 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 a big thumbs up for me. But I'm thinking maybe tomorrow, uh, maybe I should like do some live streams on Train Sim World Three. What, what do you guys think? Because um, I would like to see what this game has in store for us. And like, you know, and then and if we do a live stream, you guys can actually like give out your true opinion of what you think of Train Sim World Three. Because um, because maybe there's maybe there's some there's some stuff here that I'm missing that I just can't see because I'm easily blinded. But I do love the sky effect. Like the clouds are a lot better. The sunlight is a lot better, and just like it just it just, it just feels more real. And like the 3D clouds just look so cool. And the scenery is just. I mean, look at like look at the forest. I can see all I can see is like hills and mountains and stuff. I mean, it's 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 it's, it's incredible how much like work and the scenery they've they've put into in the in Trains and World Three. It's nice. But anyway, my friends, I'm going to end the video for you guys for today. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on as well so you're still notified to the channel. And also, please subscribe to my second YouTube channel because, you know, it's just a click of a button, you know, and it boosts my self-confidence if you subscribe to my second channel. But let me know what you guys think of Train Sim World 3. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Or do you have concerns? Leave your 
everything you have questions or negativity or positivity uh in fact uh leave whatever you want in the comment section down below and just you know give me some constructive criticism because it's good and uh let me know what you guys think thank you again so much for watching have a good day and i'll see you guys again next time for hopefully for more train sim world 3 and i'll see you guys very soon bye for now guys bye <laughs>